y'all welcome back to my channel crystal heart my name is crystal and today we are out in the field girls day yes we're having a girls day and we are stopping by our craft thrift store we have our donations in the back and we're gonna see what they have in there y'all know i love my craft thrift i'm always doing um videos showing my mystery fabric so i thought that I would take you guys with me. I'm not going to really show y'all everything in the store, but I'm going to try to get a little bit of footage and maybe do a voiceover of um, what the everything is because I don't want to just be in the store talking. And um, and then we'll show you guys what we get when we get back in the car. So we'll see you guys inside. All right, y'all, let's get into it. We're walking into the Creative Reuse store. And I can tell y'all right now, the footage is not that great, but this is what y'all got. We are donating these items, so we had a laundry basket full of stuff to donate. And Cameron is holding a, um, a thread rack, or whatever you call those, to donate. So this is the entrance of the store. I think it's about to cut out, yeah. So right here, I am looking through all the magazines and the craft books and stuff they have a lot of that and it's like uh 25 for like a dollar or something like that and they have some leather scraps and uh let's see other they have a lot of stuff y'all here are some rolls of fabric these are like bigger cuts of fabric that they have and they actually had quilt kits so that's what i'm showing y'all there I didn't get any, but, and here there are, like, um, these fabrics that they hang, and they price them for, like, $5. These are all, like, the half-yard cuts, quarter-yard cuts, and things like that. They put them all together. They fold them really neatly. These are the grab bags, but they didn't have any quilting fabric grab bags. And then they also do these scrap packs where it's, like, odd cuts, and they'll fold them up for a dollar. I always get scrap packs. And the fat quarters are 75 cents, or you can get, uh, what was it, 10 for $5? So I always hit up the fat quarters. And these are like the strips of fabric. They're $5 for a pack. Like, they'll match a bunch of different fabric and then ch uh, price the whole thing for $5. So it's 25 pieces of at least one eighth yard cuts. And that's a great deal. There is also always um, these panels hanging up. So I always go through the panels to see if I see anything that I like. And they're usually a dollar or two dollars. I don't think I saw anything good that time. Now this is a cross stitch area. They have all these cross stitch patterns. Most of them are vintage. They have a lot of leisure art patterns. And um, sometimes I feel like going through them. Sometimes I don't because there are so, so, so many of them. Like this is just a small section of them. Yeah. So I don't always feel like going through them. And then this is also the cross stitch area. This is where you'll find like the cross stitch fabrics. Some stuff that's all already kits or projects that have been started and not finished. So I like to go through there and see if there are any kits that I want to get or fabrics that I want to get. Kamani showing some plastic canvas uh, fabric. I don't know what you call that. Um, yeah, so I was just looking through that. And most of the stuff in here is vintage, you can see. Oh, and this is just a picture of a wall that somebody created in there. All right, y'all, we're back in the car. I'm not quite sure what kind of footage we got in there. I kind of ask the kids to help me get some footage so it could be shaky it could be just little pieces it could be of the floor it could be of feet who knows y'all know because you already seen it before all this but anyway i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what i got they can show you what they got i spent i think 14 dollars and left a two dollar tip uh Cameron spent ten dollars, left a dollar fifty cent tip. Kamani spent, I think yours was like two dollars, but she spent, $2. she spent two dollars and left a twenty five cent tip. Twenty five what? No, you spent like two dollars, maybe two dollars and fifty cents. Oh, one dollar and twenty five cents. 
Okay. So, I'm going to put everything in this bag as I go because I didn't take a bag from them. Everything is, this is the creative reuse. So, when they give you a bag, it's going to be like a reusable bag that they've gotten as a donation. So, if I have my own bags in the car, I won't take their bags because... Uh, I just don't need them and they can use them okay so I got these two little pieces of leather one for 10 cents one for 25 cents I have no clue what I'm gonna do with them but I got them and I'm sorry that my steering wheel is in the uh, frame I don't I don't I don't have no other way to configure this you like it all right and so if you've ever seen on any of my floss tube videos or my um craft thrift haul videos i always get floss from the craft thrift I, as much as i can i'll get because they're 10 cents a skein so this is the cheapest that you will ever find floss so i go through and it doesn't matter to them what brand of floss it is if it's um over dyed they may they'll price it at 25 cents usually but if it's like this then like dmc um coats and clark anchor non-name brand the little uh michael's brands and all that'll all be 10 cents so um i always go through and look for all the DMC and then I get all the DMC that they have if they have doubles usually I won't get the doubles so that you know I could leave them behind for other people but um today this is how much it was and this is actually not a, a whole lot because sometimes I'll go through and there'll be like so many they're categorized by color in there and usually there's so so many and a lot of doubles today they didn't have many doubles at all so I didn't even have to worry about that but I got all of this I'm not gonna even go through it all but y'all can see so where else can you get floss that cheap nowhere um I think the only other thing I got was fabric so I tried to capture it in uh, the video when we we're walking through but I'm not sure if I did so lately they've been doing this where they cut these strips and they hang them they hang them like this in the uh, shop and they'll have like a few of them and they say that each strip is at least one eighth um, yard cut and five dollars so they're all about this wide I'll give a quick rundown of what I got this one looked like the little fall uh, bundle so this is why I got it Got some oranges. This looks like a batik. Green. I know the sun is kind of in the way, but I have this pretty one right here. This right here. I think this is a Raleigh Blake. Uh, maybe a Lori Hope. I don't know. This. The pumpkin. And I want to do a fall quilt this year. I've never done a completely fall quilt. So, um, excuse uh, the kids are talking in the back. So I figured, hey, here's some good fall fabric that I can put to use, make a fall quilt. So all it is, five dollars, 25 strips. So like literally where else will you find fabric that cheap? This was another bundle that I got and it's the same thing, 25 pieces that are at least one eighth uh, wide, one eighth yard wide. And I paid five dollars and this was just a solid. And I like the solids for like for piecing and stuff like that too. But whenever I do um, name labels for quilts, so if I embroider, usually all quilts that I do, I'll um, I'll put the person's name if it's a gift. I'll put their come on, in. please. I'll put uh, their name on a label in the corner and I'll embroider it if it's a, if it's like a gift or whatever I usually do do that so I figure all this solid fabric would be perfect for that which I do have a stash of solids just for that at home too and this is like good fabric this is 
um, what brand is this? Art Gallery Fabrics. Um, probably some Kona solids in here. Yeah. What is this one? So all these fabrics are like good quality fabrics. I'm not going to say all of them. Sometimes you might run into some little cheap fabrics in the mist. But all in all, that was my haul. $14 for all of that. Um, Kamani, you want to show what you got? Oh, okay, she's gonna, if she can gather herself together, she's gonna show you what she got for $2. So got she got, she got some Essie nail polish. They do have nail polish in there that sometimes she always likes to grab in the sun, isn't it? But she got some Essie nail polish. We all know how expensive Essie is. What else did you get, Bubby? She got some fake nails. I told her she knows she can't use glue on her nails just yet, so she likes to decorate and kind of um, do nail art. And then, well, just show them back there. She got all these, um, what do you call these? The, the label is on it. The plastic canvases. So she got all these plastic canvases. Uh, what are you gonna do on here? Like cross stitch with yeah. yarn, maybe? You could do yarn cross stitch with it. Yeah. All right. I know back in the day we used to get these and make um, purses out of them, or like little uh, coin purses. Mhm. Mm all right. Show what colors you got. She got purple. I see a blue back there. Pink. Oh, lighter purple. And a pink okay so she got all of that for two dollars nails nail polish and I think five of these um, plastic canvases for two dollars Cameron you want to show what you got so Cameron spent ten dollars picture frames so she has some type of um, project that she wants to do with the picture frames so this place is like really awesome for just like creating anything they have so much it's not just about like sewing or cross stitch they have so much for artists <laughs> um sculptors just anything okay what else did you get i got this it's uh is it all acrylic paint yeah these are all acrylic paint and this is like so she got like it's five a, acrylic paints yeah no this is not acrylic paint it's a primer and clear sealer oh a sealant yeah. how many uh picture frames did you get two Okay, two picture frames. What else did you get? Two paintbrushes. Some paintbrushes. I got some gel top coat. Ooh, gel top coat. And then nail polish. And nail polish. And you got all that for $10. Yeah. Awesome. So as you can see, we all love the craft thrift, as we call it, even though it's really called the creative reuse. But anyway, that's all, y'all. Like I said, I don't know what the clips look like. I hope they look decent. If not... I know they don't look decent. I'm not going to even say it, y'all. I know they don't look decent. <laughs> they do. Okay. Go watch for nothing. All right. When I edit it, I'll see. But anyway, um, if you like this video, y'all, leave a like. I do want to get some more uh, actual crafting videos up because I don't really do that too often, but I want to start doing, like, um, you know, quilt videos and things like that. But anyway... Thank y'all for watching. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. And I don't have it in here, but I'll show a picture. I made my um, quilted play button for a thousand subscribers. I posted it on Instagram and I also posted it on the community tab here. So if you're not following me on Instagram, click the link below and follow me and you will see all the things that I create. So we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Once again, subscribe. There you go. Bye.